it's Miss Allie. So today we're gonna talk about academic success. What does academic success mean to me? Well, academic success is a linkage between, you know, academics and the positive outcomes that I want in life. So growing up, I knew, you know, I have to go to college. I have to go to college so I can get a good job, so I can have the life that I want, so I can do this, so I can do that but I didn't really understand academic success. It wasn't as important to me and I always kind of felt like people were just drilling it in my head. So I graduated high school, you know, Miss Ali keeps it real with you. I graduated high school with a 2.5 GPA, but I was able to get into Brush University, a four year college, majoring in political science and it changed my life. I graduated from Brescia with a Bachelor of Arts degree in 2015 and then I was like okay I've made it I got that degree I'm done I don't need anything else I'm over it so I got a job and I was happy I decided to get my master's degree um I was accepted into the program and the uh, spring of 2016 I got I decided to get the master's degree because when it comes to academic success in such a quick fast-paced changing world you have to be ready you have to keep learning I am 26 years old and I learn every day and you just you have to and are able to stay in order to stay I'm sorry in order to stay competitive in the job market so I got my master's degree at WKU in organizational leadership. I graduated in 2017 and I graduated with a 3.8 and that's when I think it clicked. I think I really got it then. I got how important my grades were and I understood like, okay, this is what I need to focus on in life. Academic success means being stable, being able to you know, not have to work crazy hours a day and being able to, you know, enjoy spending time with Addison. And so it's gave me freedom to do a lot of things and I've had to keep learning. So I decided that when I graduated with my master's degree, all right, now I need to become a doctor. I need to have my doctorate degree by the time Addison Cole is five. So I started applying to schools and it was weird that like I graduated with a 3.8 but like colleges still wanted to know my ACT which let's be honest mm, I took it twice and mm -mm, it just wasn't for me and I did not graduate with the highest GPA from high school and my grades from Russia were they were okay but it was hard to send my transcripts in to all these places so that I could get into a new program when they were just all over the place. But then I had a master's degree with a 3.8. And I'm like, why should it matter that I had, you know, a 2.5 in high school or made whatever on the ACT if, you know, my grades now are up to par? So finally, I was like okay gonna go back to western after i got accepted to vanderbilt but i decided that western was a better fit for me so we i am at western working on my doctorate hopefully to start my dissertation in the next few months and i'll graduate in about a year maybe a year and a half but academic success has just grown for me and i think it's as i've gotten older because i've been able to see that because let's be honest when you're in high school and somebody's drilling in you you gotta go to college you need to do this like you get over it and you're just like you know whatever i'm just gonna get a job it's whatever and you know i didn't have real bills in high school I was working at Burger King and you know all I could worry about was when my next mail appointment was or where I was going for the weekend so academic success did not you know really have an importance I didn't see the linkage to life and academic success when you know those were crucial moments if I 
had have really buckled down in high school and did what I needed to have done, I could have applied for a lot of scholarships. I could have gotten more grants, more help going to college. It would have made it easier on myself. But luckily I'm here to tell you that it's okay if you have not done your best in high school it's okay to learn later in life you know the academic success is where you need to be that is perfectly fine because here i am yes i took different routes to get where i needed to be they were not always the smartest or most you know financially responsible but i realized it and it's gotten me to where i needed to be now and the life that i want to live and you can start this whenever you know my mom went back to college when me and my brother were in middle school and i remember sitting at the table with her and like doing all our homework together and you know she did it because she wanted to show you know me and my brother just how important it was and i wish that i would have you know understood it then even though i didn't but i understand it now and so now you know, I'm finishing my education. I'm showing Addison, yes, mommy is a single parent. I work full time. I go to school full time, but it can be done. And you know, those are the proudest days of my life. When I graduated from Western Kentucky University in 2017 with my baby all decked out in her red WKU swag, cause she's gonna be a topper, you guys. So I decided I needed to finish my education. I needed to finish my education for myself. When it comes to academic success, you have to figure out why. At first, it was because I needed to get a good job. Then it was because, well, I gotta make good grades. I gotta make my parents happy. Well, you know, then it comes a point where you gotta do it for yourself and the life that you wanna live. And I had finally gotten to that point in my life. Sharing my story with you guys is to show you what hard work and determination can get you in life. If you want to go to a community college, if you want to go to hair school, if you want to go to the army, you know, Miss Ellie is your biggest supporter in life, in everything. But I want you to take the time to figure out why academic success is important in your life. Understand why you need it. Understand what it can do for you. And I want you to put a plan into action to where you will be successful academically. And you will when you're my age, which I know I'm old now because all my teenagers tell me, oh, Miss Allie, you're 26. I'm like, I know, like they act like I'm ready for the nursing home or something. But when you get to 26 and then Miss Allie's, you know, way, way older and I might be in the nursing home by then, then we can come back and have this conversation about academic success and we can see how it is changed in your life and how your life has changed based on academic success. So that's the message from Miss Allie today. I'm going to share with you some other academic success stories and I want you to be working on your NTI work and if you need help, y'all have Miss Allie's information to get in contact. Y'all let me know. Y'all know I will help y'all to the best of my ability. My name is Amanda Houchins, and I'm a high school chemistry teacher in Franklin, Kentucky. And to me, academic success is meeting the goals that you set for yourself. And there's two really important words in that, goals and yourself. Goals is plural. It means you can have more than one. It, it means that you can change your mind along the way. Um, as you meet one goal, you want to start moving on to the next goal because in life, once you settle, once you start having that next step to reach for, you start to become stagnant. Um, for me, you know, along the way when I was in elementary school, I couldn't wait to be in middle school and then the next goal to became, became to graduate from high school. And once I graduated high school, I knew that I wanted to go to college. I didn't know what I wanted to do in college. But I figured I would discover that along the way. Um, and turns out that I did. I found that I really loved the sciences. So I double majored in biology and chemistry. Once I graduated with my undergraduate degree, I knew that 
um, I love learning and I wanted to be able to share my love of learning with others. So I did my first master's degree in education and that allowed me to become a high school teacher where I could share my love of the sciences with my students. And then um, to continue to grow professionally, I, I am almost complete with um, another master's degree that I'm getting in chemistry and that has really challenged me. But along the way, um, in addition to my professional goals, I've also had personal goals. Um, and those, those can go hand in hand. A lot of times you've got to meet some professional goals in order to be able to afford or do your personal goals. I also love to travel. So that academic success that I'm achieving for myself by meeting those professional goals also allows me to do um, other things that I enjoy um, as well in my leisure time. The other part of that in meeting the goals you set for yourself is the word yourself. Your goals are yours. Your academic success belongs to you. You might recognize the people that help you along the way, but ultimately you're the one who's going to get yourself there. Um, and if it's not something that's making you happy, maybe you need to adjust your goals. That way you're not only successful, but you are happy with that success. Now, is your plan going to look like mine? Probably not. We're two different people, but that's okay. I went to college and I went back and I went back again. You may not want to go to college and that's okay. There's all kinds of career paths out there to help you achieve academic success depending on what it is you want to be. There's trade schools, there's two years, two year associate programs, there's the military, there's going directly into the workforce and there's absolutely nothing wrong with any of those career paths. Again, it's what you need to do in order to meet the goals that you set for yourself and that's how you should define academic success, or at least it's how I do. Um, what academic success means to me? Um, I'm, for anyone that doesn't know, I'm Miss Lynn. Um, Lynn Rhymes with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Franklin Simpson and Scottsville Allen County. And um, if I could describe academic success in one word, it would have to be escape. Um, growing up, I lived in a very low-income family, or I was from a very low-income family. Um, I am a first-generation college student. Um, being that I have absolutely no um, athletic ability, um, ac academics became the way that I was going to break the cycle and do something with my life. So I studied really hard. Um, I got really good grades. I became the first person in my family to graduate from college. Um, and then later went to grad school with two boys um, at home. I worked full time at the Boys and Girls Club and um, still accomplished all of those goals. Um, I want all of our club kids to know that if you are in a similar situation or even if you're not, um, if you want to know why um, school is important, please reach out to me. I'm always here to help, um, but working hard and um, Achieving those goals is always something I wanted to do. Um, I'm now the social worker that I always wanted to be, and I get to serve some of the most incredible kids. So academic success was an escape and has now become a passion. Um, and I'm lucky to be a part of the Boys and Girls Club family. What does academic success mean to me? Does it mean good grades, grade point average? It didn't to me. It meant that I actually stuck to the course and finished. It took me 10 years to finish college, but I finished with a summa cum laude, and I was really proud of that. But what I was most proud of was the fact that I graduated because not every class was easy for me. So academic success for me was sticking to it and not giving up. I didn't begin college until I was older and there was a lot of things that stood in my way between beginning college and getting to end college and education had always been so important to me so even during the time that I was not 
engaged in going to college classes, I was still trying to teach myself a lot of different things. Uh, education for me was a way to better myself and to uh, get myself out of the circumstances that I felt like I had been born into. Uh, and I was curious. A lot of times academic success can be determined by your curiosity. And my curiosity while I was going to college led me to take some classes I never dreamed of. And it also allowed me to find my path. And I never imagined that I would be involved in education or that my whole entire adult life would be devoted to working with youth, but that's how it ended up. And I, I'm really happy about that. One of my favorite quotes is by George Eliot, and I actually keep it on my desk at work, and I keep it here at my home, and it is, it's never too late to be what you might have been. And by the time I started college, I had been told that I was too old, that it would not benefit me at all, and that I was wasting my time. Do I feel like I wasted my time? No. Did it benefit me? It benefited me in more ways than a career development or getting a higher paying job. It benefited me as a person in my personal growth and uh, something that made me realize what my potential was. So academic success to me is a lot of different factors. Sticking to it, seeing the goal to the end, realizing your purpose, facing the hard stuff and not giving up, and also realizing that you're always capable of growth whether you're 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 as long as you're breathing you're capable of growth <laughs>